The release of a new iPhone is always big news and this year is no exception. The new iPhone 14 may have some impressive features that I'm sure a lot of people would like to have. But should you upgrade? That's the question for today. Let's talk about the iPhone 14. So everybody's supposed to know by now that next week, September 7th, Apple basically announced the iPhone 14, which is like in a couple of days. No, I didn't get invited out there. One day we will buy the Apple Gods. So we're expecting to see the iPhone 14, 14 Max, 14 Pro, and the 14 Pro Max, but no Mini. Honestly, I'm not too upset or care too much about the Mini. Let me know what you guys feel about the Mini. Should, have, should Apple have killed it? We still don't know, it's all rumors. We might be surprised that they have a Mini. Let me know how you feel about it down below in the comments. Some of you guys know I've been on TikTok recently, and the biggest question I get is that, why are you gonna buy the 14? if it's the same as the 13, you know what I'm saying? The biggest visual change I've seen this year is that there's gonna be a pill cut out to house the face ID and also the sensors and stuff up here. Previously, it was supposed to be a pill cut out like this that has two separate, you know, spaces between at the top where the notch is supposed to be, but now it's going to be like a uniform pill shape cutout and i don't know like i don't know why apple just didn't keep the notch i guess it has to look different because now it's just like they just move the notch into the screen instead of just being on the top the top half so I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it, but that's with everything when it comes to change, we always feel some type of way, then we end up enjoying the phone. So I guess it's nice to have change because it's gonna be like four years now and we still have the notch. So at least give us a different type of notch, I guess. So aside from just the notch, another visual change would probably be how big the lenses are this year. Because we're gonna have a bigger camera, we might see a larger lens and also we have a new purple color that's lingering around in the rumor era, the rumor world, the rumor environment. We're supposed to get a purple iPhone 14 Pro and also just a regular purple iPhone 14. And I'm a huge fan of it. Purple is my favorite color, so I'll definitely take a purple iPhone 14. But if you're not a fan of the, the purple, we're still gonna get the usual like graphite, silver, gold, and surprisingly, they're keeping the green. It's not replacing it. So the green will be replacing the Sarah blue this year. I kind of like the Sarah blue, but I guess Apple just have to mix it match who knows maybe down the line like last year apple will release a nice color last year was green so hopefully they release something sick i don't know like yellow i don't know something crazy and also for the non-pro models this year it should be the same as last year but instead with that new shade of purple in the mix and as usual i think with the regular models the purple is kind of muted, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes it's a bit darker, we'll never know. But enough of the colors, what has really changed? You know what I'm saying? What's the price looking like? What storage we're getting? What's the what's the new features that want, you know, that people would like, yo, I need that, let me get the iPhone 14. Based on the rumors, I don't think it's a lot. Firstly, pricing is a bit tricky this year. All speculation, don't quote me on it, but Mark Gurman, who's a very well-known and respected Apple leaker, first said that there was gonna be a price bump of $100, but a lot of people still think it will stay the same as last year. The prices that are fluctuating out there right now, those are for the base 128 gig models, but if the base model bumps up to 256 gigs, then I think the price hike would make some sense for that extra $100 bump. Next up, we have some major camera upgrades for the iPhone 14 Pro, and I am excited about this one. There's reports that the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max will be equipped with a new ultra-wide camera with a larger pixel size. So by having larger pixels, the sensor can capture more light, which I like. I do a lot of videos on my 0.5 camera, so having that 48 megapixel on the ultra-wide, guys, is gonna be sharper, it's gonna be better in low lights, and especially nighttime when I'm recording videos on the 0.5, it's just always so grainy with my current iPhone 13 Pro Max. So if they're gonna increase that, that alone for me as a content creator and someone who loves taking pictures on my phone, that alone is a reason for me to upgrade. So that improved primary camera should also allow for better and sharper images and 8K Dolby video recording. That's the rumors. And of course, the front camera will be improved as well. How much? I'm not sure. But I just hope that, you know, a lot of things are just improving. I can't, I, I would be so pissed to see the same old, same old phone in this new release.
Another thing that was rumored is the MagSafe on charging has improved, all right? So we should see improvements in the magnets at the back of the iPhone 14 and the 14 Pro should be stronger. That way we'll have like a better experience with the accessories such as the MagSafe battery pack and the MagSafe wallet and stuff from third party sellers like Spigen. Now, Apple could also introduce a new MagSafe battery accessory exclusive to the new iPhones. While there be no change in the wireless charging speed, the 14 could support 30 watt wired charging speeds and I am actually hyped for that because I think the iPhone charges relatively fast right now so 30 watts would be insane that's like plug and go and guess what that's literally all the rumors we've heard there's no USB type C you know what I'm saying we're not gonna have there's a couple stuff I really wanted to see from the iPhone that I haven't seen in the rumors so let me tell you my iPhone 14 wish list so things I would like to see top of the list just general performance increase from the new chip that's all I want to see. Better telephoto camera. You know, it's called the far out event. So I'm hoping we could do some astrophotography. I know it's kind of linked to satellite, but it could also link to, you know, like zooming in with a telephoto. I want to battle with the Samsung S22 Ultra. Who has the best telephoto camera, Apple? You know, that's what I want to see from the cameras. Another thing I would like to see is 4K cinematic mode and better edge detection in cinematic mode. So right now, cinematic mode is limited to 1080p. You know, I would love to see 4K 30 and 4K 16 cinematic mode. I think that would be, you know, a lot of people would use it way more often because right now it's a bit wonky. So improvements on cinematic mode would definitely be on the top of my wish list for sure. Always on display. We need always on display like what Android is doing right now. We need reverse wireless charging. We need, you know, improved battery life and better pricing. That's everything I could really wish for a new iPhone 14. Like, listen, Phones have reached a, a level where it's doing it, like any phone manufacturer can do basic phone stuff. Send and receive text messages and phone calls. You know, that, that's what phones are really for, like actual phones. But now smartphone manufacturers are making like those of the fun features that we all love, like better cameras, like quality of life stuff, better cameras, airdrop, quick share, like Samsung have folding phones now. I know it's a different category, but you get what I'm saying? Like phones have reached what I would call a plateau or plateau. So now we just need these companies to be smart and give us cool features, like give us reverse wireless charging. You know, it actually is useful. There's so many times that my AirPods or something died and I just need a quick little juice. But yeah, as always guys, let me know your wish list down below in the comment. What would you like to see from Apple in the new coming iPhone 14s? And also, what do you think about the rumors? Is it true? Is it false? Who knows? As always guys, love, peace and tweaks. Sign the note.